Welcome back. The best part about this recipe is I get to do this recipe by myself. Mike is not here, so you know it's going to go right and nothing's going to go wrong. So what we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with two nice thick cuts of pork chops. You want to use boneless pork chops for this one because you are going to be at a tailgate and you don't want a lot of people having to mess with cutting this properly. We're going to be serving this over a rice pilaf, by the way. First thing I'm going to start off with is just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to rub it in for flavor. And I'm going to flip it over and you're going to do both sides on this real easy. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have your grill preheated. I already preheated my grill to high and we're going to do this on an indirect heat. And I'll show you that here in a second. And then we're going to use just simple Cajun seasoning. Use your favorite Cajun seasoning. It doesn't matter what kind, just as long as you have a favorite. And if you don't have a favorite, then just go ask your meat manager at the meat department what his favorite is, and he'll be more than happy to help you out. And then we're gonna do both sides of this when we do this, but we're also gonna use crushed red pepper flakes on each side. Not too much, just a few of them, just to give it enough heat to bug everybody at your tailgate. So we're gonna do both sides and then we're gonna put this on the grill. What's great about this particular recipe is it is a white meat, so it is actually a little healthier than doing steaks, but at the same time, it's something different that people can have at a tailgate. Because most of the time, everybody's gonna be competing with ribs and steak and tri-tip. You're gonna be doing pork chops, that's a lot different. So then we're gonna take crushed red pepper flakes, both sides, and now we're gonna put this on the grill just like that. What we're gonna do is when we're grilling this, this we're gonna- Is pork chops? Sounds like cannibalism if we eat this. Now the recipe has gone bad, okay? <laughs> it was doing great earlier, Funky. went out of them, but now he has to come back good. in Let's here. put some Cajun seasoning right. on you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pork chops and we're gonna go indirect heat. So I have my heat on here, I have my heat off here. So I'm gonna put my pork chops on the side that is not heated, all right? And what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a convection inside here and it's gonna roast it when I shut the lid. So I'm gonna close the lid, heat's gonna come up here, it's gonna push over and it's gonna roast it and bake it right inside. This is gonna take about 20 minutes for this to cook. Blackened. So it's that Cajun seasoning that blackened right up. We're just gonna take, and this isn't gonna take much longer. We're just gonna only let this cook for like maybe five minutes longer because we have about 10 minutes on one side, five minutes on the other, and then we're gonna let it sit for another five minutes, just like that. All right, we are back. The pork chops are done. The Cajun pork chops are finished. I'm gonna take them off the grill now. What I'm gonna do, it's how you plate this particular recipe for your tailgaters. What you wanna do is you wanna make nice thin slices and then serve it over a bed of rice. And then that way your tailgater does not have to sit there and cut his own food or her own food. Just like this, oh, can you smell that? Mm. So you just angle it, give it a nice angle right here. Keep that those is a juice. Nice angle, Pat. Would you get out of there? That's for the guest. You are not a guest. That is for sure. I'm your boss. And then what you you were oh please get out of here. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take. He's gonna lay that over the rice, just like that. Now, the reason why you wanna use a rice pilaf for this is because this is going to be spicy, and the rice pilaf is going to take the flavor down for you when you mix it together. And then, mmm. Wow. It's got a lot of flavor just oh, on its own. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. No. 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 I'll stab you. Uh -oh. My nice. Okay, okay. Get ah. I'm gonna plate this up for our real guest. That right there was not a guest. That's an annoyance. That's like pest. I need Billy the exterminator. Get rid of him. Look at that. Mmm. When was the last time you saw that served at a tailgate? That's what I thought. That's, it. So that's how you're gonna plate it. So we're gonna plate it. I left some over here, nice shot. Give me this thing. Hmm? You're an idiot. Oh, what are you doing? No, that's where the other one goes. Yeah. Oh, sure. Just keep 
right, nice. Look at that. Cajun pork Perfect. over rice pilaf. Or on the side of rice. Smell it driving. On the side of rice pilaf. Thanks for your input, jerk.